What's up everybody, it's Brandon Bilotti here and a lot of people have been asking me to do a day in the life vlog type of video. So you're about to see what my day is like as a Division II basketball player. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so we start in this video at 10 o'clock the night before. I've already showered. I've already gotten ready for bed and everything. So right now I'm getting ready to pack my bag and get ready for my day tomorrow. I like to have my stuff ready to go so as soon as I wake up, I can get right into my day. Okay, so even though they canceled my season due to COVID, my team still operates on our normal schedule. So that means I gotta have my bag ready for class, study hall, practice, and workouts throughout the day. So this morning, I woke up five minutes early just to set up my camera. I wanted to make sure that I recorded everything in real time, including waking up. Once eight o'clock hits, my alarm goes off and it's time to get ready for the day. This morning, the first thing on my schedule is a workout. So I roll out of bed, try to get dressed. I always make up my bed every morning before I get my day started. Walk over across the hall, brush my teeth, and now it's time to get the day started. I live on the second floor in my dorm, so we're gonna head downstairs and across campus, and then we're gonna go get some breakfast before we get into the workout. Now, I attend the illustrious Elizabeth City State University, a small Division II HBCU in North Carolina. I can't start my day without breakfast. Y'all know what SpongeBob say, it's the most important meal of the day. And one thing I love about my school, I'm hardly ever disappointed with the food. Look at this, bacon, eggs, French toast, tater tots, if you want a lighter breakfast, they got cereal available and they always got some type of fruit or yogurt. And don't even think y'all about to catch me lacking with no Bev. Let's just take a moment to appreciate this beautiful breakfast. And now we on the way to the gym. Now because of COVID, the campus gym isn't available for regular use yet. So we gotta pull up to Planet Fitness. While it's not the ideal gym I'd like to go to, it's better than nothing. And you can't argue with $10 a month. Switch into my training mask and then we are gonna hit the floor. I got a light mobility lift planned for this morning. So we're gonna start off with 10 minutes of cardio on the bike. Then we get into single leg Romanian deadlifts. Emphasizing hip mobility, we're going into these seated good mornings. Next up, a banded goblet squat, but we're not locking out. We're focused on retaining tension on the muscles. Followed by goblet side lunges to help with balance, stability, and strengthen your inner and outer thighs. We're also gonna go into some anterior tibialis raises that go into a calf raise. This is great for my athletes who have problem with shin splits. Capitalize on all the points of extension that we just went through with some lightweight power cleans. This works the three points of extension that are key for jumping. Work on your balance and your shoulders with some plate steering wheels on a stability ball. Then we're gonna do some lateral hip extensions with the resistance band around our ankles. Start involving the core more by driving your knee and controlling it in different directions. Burn out the core with some lower leg raises like this. And now it's time to cap this workout off with a good stretch. We're definitely focusing on stretching all of the muscles that we just got done working. Major emphasis on the hips and hamstrings for later on today. This knee sit definitely works all of the three points of extension that we talked about earlier. Now it's time to grab my stuff and head back to campus. Back in my room, I'm gonna get a quick shower and change and go to lunch. It's Wednesday and everybody's gonna be in the cafe, so I had to throw on something slight to pop out. Back down the stairs and across campus to head to the cafe. Luckily, I got here early, so the line wasn't too bad, but fried chicken Wednesday, it goes down in the calf. After lunch, I went straight over to the gym for my individual workout with my coach. Today was footwork into spot up shooting. After a good workout, get changed again and head over to class. Got the class on time. Ready to get started. <laughs> After class, I walked back to my room to grab the last of my stuff for practice. By this time, my legs are a little dead, so I took the elevator. Ah. 
change into something more comfortable for study hall, and then I'm on my way out. Decided to drive over to the gym so I could get there on time. But first, before I go into study hall, I gotta get COVID tested. We wait for our results at the top of the gym while the girls practice. Once we come back negative, we go over to the classrooms that are inside the gym facilities and get into study hall. During study hall, coach brings us our uniforms, and afterwards, we get changed and go straight into practice. Gotta get stretched and ready to go for a good practice. But the day's not over yet, because after practice, we walk over to the weight room and I get a lift in with the team. Started out with heavy power cleans, went into hip thrusts, dumbbell incline chest press, bent over rows, bent over lateral raises, close grip bench press, bend pull apart. Curls into a shoulder press. Tricep dips. Close grip push-ups. And finish with core. First we had ab rollouts. And then V sit-ups. The team brings it in and then we all head back over to the gym. After we either play or shoot, it's time to go get some dinner. Since it's so late and the cap is closed, decide to head over to the campus grill. Time out here? Yeah. Ordered my food, and you know the staff is always looking out for the basketball team. At this point, I'm exhausted, and I'm basically dragging myself back to my room. Decided to treat myself to some wings and fries for dinner tonight. Get my last shower in for the day. And get a quick nighttime stretch in right after I shower for about 10 minutes. By this time at night, anything I didn't have time to do during the day, I can get done now. This means replying to all text messages, calling my family, and really taking care of my body so I can be ready to get up and do it all again the next day. This is also my time to check my social media and create content for my TikTok and YouTube channel. Then we're back where we started, getting my stuff ready for the next day so I can do it all over again. So there you have it. That was a day in my life as a Division II basketball player. And I really hope that that video shines some light on the work that gets put into what you guys see on TV, on the court, and all of that. I want everyone to know that there is elite basketball at every level. And even guys that aren't at the big Division I schools still work to get better every day, not only with the team and on the team schedule, but also on your own time. And that's where you saw a lot of my schedule and everything I put into that video. This is a fun video to make and I was happy to make it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment what else you guys wanna see next. Till then, peace, love and happiness to everybody.